you would join us. Hey folks, another Star Wars Black Series Skeleton Crew figure, and as I said, we're going backwards, so we've done 6-5, now we're going to number 4, we're looking at Fern, and one of the young, young children from the Skeleton Crew, this is a really nice looking figure, lots of great detail, the accessories look cool, and all the extra nice details and paint applications I guess goes, goes to balance things out with the, uh, with the, smaller, with the smaller figure. Um, so yeah, we're going to get through all these, all these cool looking action figures of these kids from the Skeleton Crew. Like I said, she's number four, a picture of her on the back. I'm really excited to learn a little bit more about all these characters. And there's the picture of Fern on the side for the, uh, for the big, the big picture. So uh, yeah, let's let's bust it open and take a look at this character closer up. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, this is the way. All right, guys, here is Fern out of the packaging. Really cool looking figure. Another nice addition. Um, yeah, again, accessory wise, she also comes with a torch, which is cool. Looks nice. I did sort of explain in the last video that it's not the first time we've seen torches. In Star Wars, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try not to mention that in the forthcoming reviews either. So that's kind of cool. I like that. She also comes with the backpack, which is nice. It's different to the one we saw with KB. So again, you know, going back to when I was in, you know, junior school and stuff, it was very uncool to have the same backpack as someone else. You had to have something unique, otherwise you weren't cool. And again, this one comes with a pocket. You can just sort of see there's a little, a little, little cut out there for the uh, switch to sort of pop in there. So that's cool. All packed up and ready to go on an adventure. That's cool. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Fern herself. Again, we're still very early. We haven't had the show come out yet, so we don't know a great deal about these characters. What role they play, who's the main protagonist, um, you know, that's yet to be seen. I like to think all the kids will get their own sort of share of the limelight. First things first, like I love, you know, the head sculpt is really nicely done, really nicely painted. It's, you know, even after this year, I think... It's nice to see Hasbro's finally gotten away with gotten rid of the uh, sweaty sweaty face look. Yeah, nice sort of matte, natural look to him. Hair sculpted nicely. I like the little braided ponytail coming around the neck. That looks good. Just little personality touches just adds to the characters. I think. <clears throat> I like the jacket too. That feels very Star Wars. I love all the little patches on it. Try and zoom up on them a little bit more. So that's cool. I like the I like the detail on those the patches. You when you zoom up you can kind of see it's not sort of applied very straight, but you know from the naked eye you're not gonna pick that out. It's again some cool little bits there on the side. A little bit of Orabesh on that red, but it's so small. It'd be hard to translate that. And yeah, nothing on the back. But yeah, nice looking jacket. Sort of standard brown belt. Some brown sort of baggy pants. I like the knee pads. She's sort of got just wrapped around her pants. I feel like this kid might be the, uh, you know, maybe the the slightly adventury sort of one. She likes to go out and, you know, maybe she's a little bit of a bit of a speed ahead. She likes going out and getting on the speeders. I'm interested to see if all, the, all my little theories come come true or not. <laughs> because, um, yeah, just sort of picking out little 
You know, in fact, she's got a little bit of a jacket covered in patches that makes me think of like a like a race car driver or something like that, or a fan of a fan of racing. Might wear something like that. Let's pop her backpack on. Yeah, it fits on nicely. Yeah, Fern's a nice looking figure. Looks cool. I'm excited to uh, yeah, have them all open and have them all displayed together. I think it'll look very cool. And honestly, like I've said, and I'll say it again, I think having toys for a show is super important for marketing, I think. Being able to have these characters in hand at home give you a little bit of a, a bit of playtime with your imagination. You can still have an imagination in your late 30s too, it's fine. No one's going to tell you off. So we'll look at Fern's articulation. She too has the ball joint in the head. It looks to be one in the bottom of the neck too. Ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows. A reasonable range of movement there. At least 90 degrees if not better. She's got the ball and socket in the hips. She's got the swivel with the thighs. She has the ball hinge at the knee. Ball hinges at the ankles and, of course, the rocker in the foot. The super duper fun action poses. So we do it our good old peg test using the KR stand. Yeah, no problems at all there. It just looks good. So there we have Fern added to the uh, added to the Skeleton Crew collection. Another cool figure, another nice addition to the line. Uh, next up, we'll be looking at number three, Wim. So that'll be cool. Stay tuned for that one. If you enjoyed this review, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you again for another review very soon, well, tomorrow, <laughs> at the time of recording. Till then, may the force be with you always.